This is the moment. This is it. After Michael Jackson's unexpected death this past June, concert promoters used rehearsal footage to create This Is It, a concert film for a performance that never was. This Is It's theatrical run was originally promoted as a two-week event. However, it was so popular, they decided to expand the length of the release. This week, it graced the Penn Center Theater. It will not stay another week, but Patrick, should people make the effort to check out This Is It? Is it bad, or is it not quite that black or white? Well, this film, it's not quite a thriller, but you can't beat it. Fans of these legendary pop songs will not be able to stop until they get enough. Let's do it one more time. I had no interest in seeing Michael Jackson's This Is It. Like many people, I was experiencing Jackson fatigue and, and the aftermath of his passing. Uh, and the idea of a film that was using footage not meant for public viewing uh, to make money felt exploitive to me. But the film actually is not exploitive. I think Jackson would have really liked people to see the hard work that he and others were putting into this. It's a very entertaining movie about a great entertainer. Definitely not your normal concert film. You get to see everything in this. You see rehearsals, auditions, some grandiose performances, and you get to see the passion that envelops, you know, the true Michael Jackson fans. And I think it totally works. I think that other uh, musicians might try and do this because it's a good way to make a quick buck off of something that you've been doing on the road for maybe over a year. Jackson remains a mysterious figure and This Is It doesn't offer any insight into Jackson the man. However, what it does offer is insight into Jackson the artist. We see how hard he worked and how much he cared for the people he shared the stage with. It's most definitely worth the price of admission to anyone with even a mild interest in Michael Jackson. For me, I completely agree. This film was worth more than pr the price of admission because would I ever shell out top dollar to go see a concert like this in action? Never. But would I shell out six to ten bucks to see, you know, front row seats to some of the best pop songs ever written? Count me in. Mm.